the quality of the works is poor, people just want to get money, eat the money, leave the, the, the contractors, people are given contracts, who is who? Who is who? Uh, Kira? Namutomba? Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I think this parliament should take advantage of the presence of uh, some senior ministers. The Attorney General was the chairman organizing committee for MOK birthday parties. <laughs> Last week, MK was in Kampala inspecting all the broken roads. Since the Attorney General serves both the father and the son, he can now tell us uh, <coughs> he can now tell us when the roads now that the father failed and the son came to help, when the roads in Kampala are going to be fixed. But Madam Speaker, the second point, I have the order paper here. Was that a point? The first one. <coughs> no, no, I thought Parliament will take advantage of... Uh, no problem. Of course, when the father is there, the son should be able to support. We can ask the, support, the son to help. There is no problem with that. And I didn't say, Madam P Speaker, there is uh, a problem. I only AG, say the... AG, ask uh, MK to support and uh, <laughs> see what can be done. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I only wanted us to take advantage of people who are multi-talented, who serve fathers and children. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I need guidance. I am happy Minister of Roads has come. Oh, finally. <laughs> Madam Speaker, I need guidance. Um, on the order paper today, we have... Uh, we have two items on supplementary. Item number nine and uh, item number five. From my experience here, <coughs> both as a journalist but also as a member of parliament, usually the passing of the appropriation is preceded by dealing with all the supplementaries close the previous year and then deal with appropriation. The guidance I need, why is this item coming after appropriation? Why don't we deal with all the supplementaries at once and then go to appropriation when we have closed the financial year? I have been reading uh, proceedings of parliament for the last uh, 15 years. This is what has been happening. You deal with the, the, all the supplementaries the trouble is that you have a government that misbehaves. As you are dealing with one, they are presenting an addendum. The same thing that they are doing on the budget. So you don't know which one you did. So I need guidance, Madam Speaker, on the order paper. The item number nine, item number five. Specifically, why does this one come after the appropriation, the appropriation bill um, is, is passed? Thank you. Right. Honorable Speaker. I will go straight to the area of dissent. We discussed in the majority committee on the decision by Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic De Development to dispatch 180 billion to attack sugar factory under vote 105 to the Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperation for purchase of equipment to be leased to attack works against the parliamentary resolution to acquire additional equity shares of 180 billion to government of Uganda, as indicated in the, minority, in the majority report on page 24 during the 13th sitting of the second meeting of the first session of the 11th Parliament of Republic of, of Uganda, held on Thursday, 13th, November 2021. Our recommendation. The Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development should provide a share certificate for acquisition of equity shares in a Chuck Sugar Factory worth 103 billion on behalf of Uganda. Right Honorable Speaker, our conclusion, Right Honorable Speaker, 
is that this 108 billion cannot enter 8 billion cannot enter the appropriation bill right honorable speaker parliament approved and i have the answered with me the deputy speaker at that time put a question on the on minority report and the minority report was lost then he put a question on the majority report and the majority report was carried the majority report recommended that government should use 180 for acquisition of equity. So now, 108 billion for acquisition of equity. Now, a resolution of this parliament was communicated to parliament that we passed money for purchase of equipment to the Minister of Finance. That was a distortion of the recommendation of parliament which majority report was adopted and the communication to Minister of Fi Finance would provide us to what we recommended. Now, for a figure under provision of the Constitution, I will I'll, I'll ask the Attorney General for our side to, to elaborate on the law. For a figure to enter an appropriation bill, it should be both the sum and for the purpose for which you appropriated. Any money where there is a change of for a purpose which you are appropriated cannot be part of an appropriation supplementary bill. Therefore, our, our position is that money for ATIAC, 180 billion, cannot, 108 cannot be in the appropriation bill we are going to consider. We will exclude that figure. And those who spend this money, the law will take its course. Because that's all Parliament can do. Minister of Finance has been using the 3% and other provisions to undermine what we do. Their day has come. To on our attack, we have them. They have moved contrary to the law. That's what the law provides. Right, Honorable Speaker, I move that the committee, the parliament recommends for us to exclude money for attack because it was contrary to what this committee resolved uh, the ministry to use this money for. I beg to move. The aspect, the purpose of this appropriation bill is for us to regularize the books of accounts for financial year 2021-2022. We need to close the cycle, accounting cycle, before we go and supply. That's why we, we make this, we pass this bill. And secondly, the expenditure has already been incurred. Maybe that becomes now administrative. Uh, Attorney General. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, one, like you said correctly put, this is to sure I understand the objection of the right of the Honorable Member because he said money was appropriated to acquire. I beg to report that the House has considered the bill entitled the Supplementary Appropriations Bill 2023 and passed it with no amendments. With and amendment? With the, with the, and passed it with amendments. Motion for adoption of the report of the committee. I'm moving under Rule 138 to move a motion for recommittal of the bill. And Madam Speaker, before you put the question to that, I draw your attention to Article 88 and Rule Number 24, which requires you to ascertain that this House is properly constituted to take a vote. So I beg now to move a motion that uh, Vote 1015, Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, be recommitted, as I will propose, to reduce the sum by amount of 108 billion shillings. I beg to move. What, what? The amount is Uganda shillings 108 billion. I'm asking the vote. Vote 015. 015. The amount spent on purchase of equipment in a Tiak sugar factory in contravention of the resolutions passed by this parliament. I beg to move. Honorable member, we, members, we are going to put a question. 
Yeah, and Madam if Speaker, you, the, if on the, on the recommitter, we we'll vote 105. And if you don't agree with the recommitter, you say nay. If you agree with the recommitter, you say yes. I now put a question that vote 105 with a reduction of 108 billion used by government be deducted from vote 15 on the supplemental appropriation bill 2023. Those in favor say aye to the contrary nay. The nays have it. Bill third reading, the supplementary appropriation bill 2023. Honorable Minister. First of all, for me this doesn't pass out as an innocent error. Because we spend almost a whole day debating whether first we should give uh, Atiaka Sugar Factory money. This disagreement started even in the committee on budget, and I sit on the committee on budget. Eventually we said, okay, if we want to save Atiaka Sugar Factory, we, we must acquire shares. We don't give a donation. And that's why we, we, that, that was the condition that we gave when we are passing the supplementary request. It turns out that actually, when the communication was being made by, I think he was acting clerk, Waiswa, he said this money, 180 billion shilling, is to buy equipment. That's why today, um, first of all, I'm disappointed that uh, matters have gone the way they did. Because you see, we have passed, but at the same time, the Attorney General will have to return because there are other supplementary requests to deal with. Because it appears to me now that the condition we put that we must acquire share certificate in the Atiyaka Sugar Factory was not fulfilled. The Attorney General says he's going to bring evidence. So we now wait. So that man is going to remain controversial until it has been settled. If government fails to provide proof, some of us are willing to go to court. Because this money was never a donation to Atiyaka Sugar Factory. It was money for government of Uganda to acquire shares, which they have not done, at least according to the information available. And for me, I don't even want to blame the clerk. When we are dealing with the bills, the whole government is represented here. The transmission of the content of a bill by the clerk is just a process, just a procedure. But these decisions are taken when government is represented. They cannot therefore in any way feign ignorance that they didn't know what parliament had decided. They actually know. In fact, that's where the investigation will need to start. If they did not acquire uh, equity in that company, it will be a connivance. In fact, we will even be moved to think that they connived with the crack wise who said the message. Because otherwise government, the whole government was here. They can turn out to say that we didn't know that the communication was that give the money. This money was never to be given for free. Together, government yeje ne sawa nti tujikiri ze elete nongo seleza mu budget. Netumara e banga dene ngatuwa gama nti tukiri za kuwa atiaka sugar factory sente za abu erere. Butu wama liliza netukiri za ganya nti oke, sente zo ze muge ndo kuwa atiaka. Tute kuwa kufune emigabo nge guanga mu company yeyo ekole vikajyo. Nitukirizganya ni government, kachorua yero wako mieo, nga watu raga, nti chetuwa isa siche wako la, senta hati yaka wamu wabu iza awele bilo nchuku mumu nana. Kachituwa detu waga la atone jena arete obu julizi. Neshe ya certificate, chuwandi kechi raga nti shia zutuwa zifuna. Agai mbojia chile ta tumuwade wiki sibiri. Nze saga la kwega takuwa babe kwa santi kraka wa paramindi uyalea wa nika yakole nsobi. Even to be a twist and gobble, I will write to be said a government to anyone. Never ever a caraca, I call in so we, the government here, or twins, Ben, so we felt you know, tell us, and so we bought a valium. Saga and a quick was a crack government. We were young again, a mass of new Atiaka send in the Tuff Namusha, Omanjaka, Vekovana, and a cracker, the recent of a banzi, call in so we, but why to say take a Yamajazi, a ya a jimmy. Mualim wins so we, and so be so will call it one, HA was wanted. Zaba denso vinga zikole dua obobu haba devu genderevu. Kadiche tu ino kuno nyeriza, tu ino kudene kuhansa, tu lawe kuhansa di kuali kochi. Kwa obobu wa andika. O ino kubanga, biogendo kuteka mu transmission later, bivu de kuhansa. 
kati yao tujua kunonyeza ensobi yakolewa ba hansadi ensobi yakolewa karak i think the problem with atiak arises from the mistrust which appears to be there now between the parliament and the executive because the issue is money was passed by parliament to the tune of 108 billion that money was supposed to go towards atiak but the government was uh, was was instructed to acquire uh, shares in, uh, in so in 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 favor of equity or in terms of equity so that the government interest could be covered given that the government had put in a lot of money but you see the problem is to date we don't see any evidence that the government went ahead and acquired equity to protect this money and we see the same money coming resurfacing again in the budget you see for the, the same amount which was passed and which should have been passed on by Atiak. So that's where the problem lies. The problem is that the government, the executive seems to be hiding yeah, behind the, the, you know, the, the, behind the, something, the, something which they're not saying clearly regarding the, the, the appropriation of this money. So that's where the problem lies. So that's why we... Because one, parliament be a salao kwa Atiak, abakule mbeze ba parliament yenu. Eh, kubaluwa mwami waiswa jiawandika ya chusa okusala ukwa parliament echo echo muruzungu baka ita that is a criminal act fraud nesi ye yetu wala baba kulira parliament bali lida wanga bako la communication ye echavu demu Uganda ya kutesente bilioni chikumi mumu nana nezi gemu lira umuchala ami na muatiaka. Kwa tu hatu game niti tugule, imigabo, tuberene share mu company yeyo. Wetu andiyo gere, gere dekati. Sengaba na, yuba, na Uganda viva singe imigabe minji mchi mu company ya atiaka. Vazi muwabu wei. Chitegeza achi. Chitegeza anti parliament. Na wanu winabi tuisa biya. Bili inga tulinga vali mumazina mu, mu ge, 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 gechi. Okumaro kuogera, olina wali tayari kodi, bie mwaisa, sibe mwako lako, ate sente tuzijisiza. Does it add up? Biko la magezi? Norocho, consequently one day, and I must warn this parliament, but na Uganda, but umuba jia kuko wabi nebe chisiru bie tukola. Ure gulo umuba jia tuvumbi ikirize wano, batu gambe chimala chikolachi, chimala. Katia ni guo gamba, mti guo njini osomye report, Nibaji kusomera, bie mwaisa tebabi goberera, atina ugamba, ah, ah, bitufu, tubiteke ni musente, zetuwaisa. Ngeteka li gamba, nti, echi ntucho gendo kuteka kwa sente mobil, chite kukubanga sente zo za agenda, kwechu chetuwa sana ukola, a specific function. The law is very clear, article 156 is very clear, nti tosobo la kuisa sente kwezi tiyo. Katibi ni wetuli kubio nabi ona, and since, Omuntu omulala nze nako ogenda makoti omuntu omulala ja genda mukoti alope parliament yenu nensu biranti krake ya wandike baluwe iyo yencha yandi badafuru mageti za wano ne speaker na balala abakulira parliament yenu chino cha buswavu munsendala etali ya feno mwetu kwate nsenene singa wana abakulu bali zaini nze da na yense eno buli chimu chitawo nga buchiteke doku itawo no, no, the issue of Atiak is they came here to get money. 108 billion. In the wisdom of Parliament, we said, okay, we have invested so much money in Atiak, and it is high time the people of Uganda get equity from where we put our money. So we passed a resolution and said, we are giving you this money to buy equipment, but for us, we shall get equity. That is a shareholding in that company for our children's children. So that one day we shall have shareholding in that company. If it grows by the way, we can, Atiak can buy out government of Uganda over, over the years. And people who manage a corporate financing, they know it can be done. It doesn't mean that government is taking over management of equity. Because over the years, Atiak can make money and buy out government is equity and become owners of the company. And, but for the beginning, to avoid the loss of money, we said, let us acquire equity. We made, a we made that resolution in the, in the budget committee 
brought to the committee of the whole house, parliament adopted it. A clever clerk here called Weishwa manipulated a resolution of parliament and consequently communicated that we will quit the money, 180 billion, for equipment purchase. When you look at the thin line, you will say you also want to buy equipment and they bought equipment. But we are saying, okay, for us, we are bringing in our money. Give us equity and go and buy equipment. So after us acquiring shareholding, now, that was not done. A wrong communication was made, and consequently, we lost 180 billion to attack. And what is surprising is that after passing that money, there was, there was a fire outbreak on attack. Sugar cane and the factory was burnt down. Immediately we passed that money, the, there was a fire outbreak. And that's how we have lost. It's the same attack that has come back for 179 billion in under 3%, which parliament, the other day we said we must stay approval. So when you look around, we would have invested near 700 billion in attack. And the attacker owners have not have invested less than 140 billion. So you got, people of Uganda should be the true owners of attack. And for now, we are at zero. It is, without, it is being managed badly, no restructuring as recommended by parliament, but we've gone ahead now and included that money in a schedule for which is contrary to the constitution. So a constitutional abuse. Parents against narcotics. That's where my interest lies. And I've been a member of that forum for the last 12 years. As if, uh, you know, I've been married for the last 15 years with the two wives. But right on the speaker, uh, right on the speaker, um, where our concern and the interest as parents lies, it's precisely not because government is not interested. No. It is because of the history. Right on speaker, I have another private member's bill that I'll be introducing uh, if you give me leave. The challenge we've been having, learned that on the general, is that courts make pronouncements on pieces of legislation, and you keep quiet. I'll give an example. The Mwanga Chivumbi case is here. For the last 12 years, you were quiet. So when courts make pronouncements, and some of us who have interest in this matter come on the floor, we do it in good faith, but also because of history. The other day I was here with you. We were discussing the Law Reform Miscellaneous Provisions Act. And we are looking at many pronouncements of court at both Constitutional Court and Supreme Court where you kept quiet. So because there is no guarantee, because there is no guarantee that action will be taken, and yet there is a problem, that drives us or compels us to come on this floor and exercise our mandate as private members. The bill I am talking about, which I, again I will seek the indulgence of the Speaker, of law reform, also has that direction, that courts have made pronouncements and you have been quiet. So I have no problem, learned that on a general, if there is a guarantee that action will be taken, untimely action. Otherwise, if you keep quiet, there is no reason why we should not be moving. Honourable honor honor members, we need to move. When you look at the legislative agenda that we got on State of Nation Address, we had 62 bills to be brought during this financial year. And Honorable Attorney General, I want you to bear with us. We should be seen to be a parliament that can perform. We had 62 bills to be brought to the House. Now we have only passed 15 bills. Out of the 15 bills, you cannot count seven. The seven are tax bills, which are given. So we have only passed eight bills from government. 
The rest of the bills that we have passed are from private members. I want kindly request that can we allow Honorable Asuman and Honorable Aru Komakech present their introduce and then if it necessitates you take it over. Government has been passed by private members here without the participation of government. So there is introduction and bringing. Who brings? Yes, right, Honorable Speaker. Right, Honorable Speaker, I do appreciate where Parliament is coming from. We seek your indulgence <coughs> to allow us to introduce this bill. This bill was introduced by government. Government is interested in this bill, and government will take timely action on this matter, right, Honorable Speaker. If we introduce a private member's bill, we have to work backwards, try, uh, reconcile them and ETC, yet we have done all this work. Right, Honorable Speaker, we beg that you allow us. We'll take timely action on this matter as government. We'll take timely action and come back to you. Uh, Many in this parliament presented the Honorable Chiwan Kachirio as the best Attorney General ever. I did not join the chorus. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> now, the same parliament, and the Honorable Osman was one of those who were praising him. <laughs> Sorry, I withdrew. I withdrew. <laughs> So, Madam Speaker, the procedure issue I am raising. The procedure issue I am raising, Madam Speaker, is whether Parliament is reversing that declaration and joining me who said, uh, before you celebrate, wait. If Parliament is not joining me, and I want to persuade uh, my young brother, the Honorable Asman. Because I remember the Honorable Katun brought here a private member on communication. Government took it over midway when they had uh, expended a lot of energy. I want Madam Speaker to persuade you and the mover to give the Attorney General, who many in this parliament said is the best I did not uh, participate. A deadline. Either 10 days or the after 14 days. If he doesn't bring, then the Honorable man brings, such that uh, we will now choose him of failure. I am going to be hesitant to support my young brother, and the Honorable man knows I support him, and I like uh, that vigilance. Because I participated in making this bill both at a committee level, I used to be a member of the Committee on Defense, and we moved the whole country with, with the minister responsible. So, Madam Speaker, I want to persuade you and persuade the House and the Honorable Asuman that we allow the Attorney General two weeks. If he's not here, we move, Madam Speaker. Uh, I'm aware, Madam right Speaker, that uh, we're expecting the report of the minister today not on the other paper, but also I'm aware that um, the people who are objecting to paying of tax even when they are committed went to court and even obtained interim orders. Will the land attorney general inform this house and country the steps he has taken to vacate these interim orders or have the matter resolved in one way or another two months after the interim orders were obtained, right on the speaker. Recently, right on the speaker, I'm also aware that the structural instrument upon which we are supposed to pay these taxes expires now in the next 30 days or thereabout. And no steps are being taken to have the taxes paid or have this matter properly explained, right on the speaker. These are the issues, right on the speaker, that make this house look a bit frames a yet very serious a house or parliament, right on the speaker. So will the land attorney general explain the steps is taken or how far is gone to one 
to ensure that the taxes are collected, two, to vacate the interim order, but also three, the report of the minister. Right, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Attorney General. Honorable Speaker and Honorable Lop. One, appearing in court to pursue the government position. An interim order does not take away the tax obligation. It just stays that obligation for that time. So we are working on the, on the case, and we have to work within the schedule of government. Right, Honorable Speaker, the issue of collection of taxes is a matter of administration of tax. The moment the tax has been stay, set, the person who is obligated to pay the tax will be required to pay that tax. And even if a person defaults on paying that tax, there are procedures to be followed to pay the tax, to recover the tax. Right, Honorable Speaker, the issue of gold has been discussed extensively. The issue of the, the tax was in the law. Parliament then allowed for the amendment to be done in the new Mining Act, and that is where the instrument was coming from. However, there are two schools of thought on that issue. Some people claim they shouldn't be paying the tax because it's too high. Others claim otherwise. However, once the tax is in the law, it's payable, and the recovery of the same must be undertaken by the tax authority. And even if they were to, re to, to have a remission of the same, there are procedures that are set by law. So, I, I, right, Honorable Speaker, I don't think any member should be worried here. Once the law is in place, the tax is payable, and if it is to be remitted, there must be a procedure followed to get to that. But I, I will be here, I think, right, Honorable Speaker, you did rule that a debate will be had on that matter, but that's yes. uh, quickly off the cuff, the answer. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I do with Attorney General. Dada Sumani introduces the bill, and you will take over. You will work with him to have the bill worked on. Produced. However, the record, like members are saying, should show that we still needed to bring this bill as a government bill. <laughs> and <laughs> right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable anyway, colleague. Anyway, now right that now that you are not ready, can we go to the next item? And I'm giving you Thursday to bring that bill.